Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a you versus them reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching, so just keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagitt Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about? What messages, please, do you have for Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about? Messages for Sagittarius and the person they are dealing with, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, or subscribed recently or commented. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. There we go. Woman holding a heart. Beautiful. Very Queen of Cups energy. That's what I think of immediately. Um, so yes, if you've been supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. Um, let me pick a card from the Wisdom Oracle as well. Whatever situation I talk about, keep in mind, time is fluid, so it could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. Messages for a quick uh, Sagittarius spirit, please, regarding the person that you're thinking about. Guys, bear with me. Mercury retrograde <laughs> is really messing with the way I talk, even more than usual. Messages for Sagittarius, please, and the person they are currently thinking about, please. What does Sagittarius need to know regarding this connection and the person they are thinking about? Messages for Sagittarius, please. That one wanted to come out. Blessed. Beautiful energy. I feel like whatever person comes into your life or offers you that heart, um, or that cup of love. I think you're going to feel very lucky is what I'm getting there. All right, guys, I'm using one deck today. This one that I feel very connected to. I just have been wanting to use it, you know, nonstop. So I'm going to just go with what I feel. Messages for Sagittarius, please, and the person they are dealing with. Now the spread that I'm doing today, I'm going to have Sagittarius on one side and the other person on the other, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate better. Messages for Sagittarius and the person they are thinking about. Okay. All right, so let's look at the current energies between Sagittarius and the person they are thinking about. Spirit, what are the current energies for Sagittarius? and the person they are thinking about. It's just for it, for Sagittarius, oh my gosh. I keep mixing up the sun. Star, so it could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with, or it could be that this is something that you have hoped for, wished for, there's hope here, faith. Anything else? Healing as well. Some of you could be currently healing, um, have already healed from a situation, or maybe the situation you're in needs healing. Yeah, there we go with the Queen of Swords. Could be an air sign that you are dealing with, doesn't have to be. But what I'm getting here is someone is healing from a situation or is trying to have hope, hope about a situation. Um, and I feel like there's communication that needs to be had or someone trying to get to the bottom of a truth or something like that where um, this person doesn't have a lot of emotion here. They want to focus on the truth, the facts. Queen of Swords, she's been through a lot, so her hard, her heart is hardened a little bit. She's a little closed off, emotionally distant. But deep down she does have a lot of love this could be that you are feeling hopeful about a connection with an air sign or it could be that there's healing going on because there's been some situation that has happened where someone's now emotionally distant so um let's see what else we have for i'll start with you sagittarius and your thoughts and feelings about this connection oh my gosh that was a terrible shuffle. Let me do that again. Okay. okay. What are Sagittarius' thoughts and feelings towards this? Okay. 
So we have Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you want an offer or are making an offer to work on something here. Someone could be making you an offer saying they want to work on a connection. Um, there's effort here. Whoever this is also the, with the Knight of Pentacles, this offer is very slow or it's taking their, they're taking their time to make this offer. Anything else for Sagittarius and the way they feel or think about this connection? How does Sagittarius, thank you. Three of Wands, some of you could be waiting for an offer to come in here. Or waiting to get a message back, a text back, something like that. Um, King of Wands under the deck, so someone definitely is ready to take action here. I feel like action as in you're going to accept this offer. So let's see what this other person is feeling. What is the other person thinking or feeling towards the connection with Sagittarius? What is the person feeling or thinking towards the connection for Sagittarius? Okay. I have Eight of Wands and I have Nine of Cups. This person, again, um, this could be, you could be their wish here. Anything else for this other person and how they feel or think about this? Can, can, well, have two of swords that popped up. So maybe there's probably some indecision here with the two of swords. Probably because there's communication going back and forth. Um, so someone's kind of um, thinking mentally um, about a decision they have to make. Um, someone's hesitating is what I'm getting. But they feel like you are their wish fulfillment or vice versa. There's someone here that feels like this is their wish fulfillment here. So let's look a little deeper into this. Um, you see that? Sorry, I just want you. Okay, so let's look deeper into this. Tell me about this star energy. Thank you. Hangman and the Hierophant. Okay, could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, doesn't have to be. What I'm getting here is someone is kind of in suspense before committing. Someone could also kind of be just letting things happen naturally here, but they're really thinking about long term. And I say that and I say I see the ace of wands around the deck. So they definitely are thinking about something new here. Tell me about this queen of swords. But this is someone that has faith, that trusts that this will happen, I'm getting. There's the high priestess. I feel like someone either hasn't spoke, like someone's either keeping something to themselves or someone just knows intuitively how this is gonna go down. I feel like you've used whoever this Queen of Swords is, um, they're using their intuition to lead them down a path of, you know, clarity here. Um, this Queen of Swords could have also figured out whatever is hidden down here with the High Priestess, whatever is unknown or just beneath the surface. There's the Queen of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to take action here for sure. There's passion here chemistry I'm getting as well. One person suspended, one person's taking action. This person could also be someone that's more religious or um, just spiritually inclined. So they are trusting that the universe has them, right? So I just don't think they've communicated this 
but there's attraction here. Someone's willing to make an offer and work on this. They're waiting for the right moment. And then this person over here, um, there's communication, there's movement towards their wish fulfillment. There's someone that's hesitating though, suspended, possibly thinking a little too much about this. I think it's because they've been probably hurt in the past or they're just a little tougher to, to kind of, they're, they're, they're slower to trust, slower to let people in. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. There's the Ace of Wands. Definitely a new beginning here with the Knight of Pentacles. This offer is going to start something completely fresh. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Thank you. Ten of Wands. Someone's setting down a burden of some sort. They've been working hard at something and they're getting to the finish line here. For others of you, um, you've already dropped a burden and are just focused on yourself. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. What is this burden? Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. But there, with women holding a heart, someone is definitely in love. Yeah, okay, so someone definitely walked away from an ending here. And that was a burden that they no longer have. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. And there's a Knight of Cups under the deck. So I feel like this is you're walking towards a Knight of Cups, a, a new beginning here. Um, there's been a transformation here. Someone could be offering an apology, but that's just for some of you. Tell me about the Three of Wands three of wands all about for Sagittarius and their person. This is three of wands all about. Thank you. Okay, so we have three of swords, knight of wands, six of cups. Interesting. Interesting. So this could be a past life connection or some sort of connection dealing with your past. Um, there were, there, I feel like in the past something didn't work out or there was some sort of pain, um, possibly with someone going in and out of your life with the Knight of Wands. Um, I feel like someone's waiting for someone to heal from heartbreak as well before they rush in with an offer here. For others of you, there was an ending to a long-term commitment or something with the past here. And now you're waiting for a Knight of Wands possibly as well. I have two threes here. This could be a third party situation. Doesn't have to be, but I'm mentioning it because I just, I'm noticing that um, that could have caused heartbreak as well, or just pain. Um, this ending, this walking away was probably painful as well, but, but they did it anyway. Um, and now they're waiting for something else to come in, possibly this Knight of Wands, Six of Cups energy. Wheel of Fortune under the deck. So I feel like the wheel is turning here and it, it'll be in your favor, Sagittarius. So let's see what this Eight of Wands is all about. What's this Eight of Wands about? What's this Eight of Wands about? Thank you. Wow, the Chariot, again, movement could be a cancer but this is more like movement forward someone would definitely wants to communicate that they want to move forward three of pentacles under the deck they want to work on this they want to build something here tell me about the nine of cups 
What's this Nine of Cups about? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. This is someone's wish fulfillment here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. The Fool, yeah, someone definitely wants something new. They want to start, they definitely want to start something with the Ace of Wands and the Fool. Um, they want a new beginning here. That is their wish, is to have something new. Tell me more about the Fool. This could be someone completely new to you, or it could be a new phase and a connection here. King of Wands, definitely um, someone wanting to take action here. Go on this journey. Go after their Nine of Cups. Three of Cups are on the deck. I really am having to mention that there this could be a third-party situation. Someone walked away from that or someone um, is now hesitating because of that too with this Two of Swords down here. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Thank you. The Emperor and Strength. So it could be an Aries or a Leo or someone with Aries or Leo in their chart. More than anything, this could be someone uh, that is deciding between two people or someone who's needing courage to either accept or reject someone. With Strength and the Emperor, um, I'm really getting power. Um, this could be someone in a position of power, or it could be someone who is a very strong personality. But I'm also getting courage to, to make a decision to come into your power so that you can make this decision. Or come into your power to end a situation. And make a decision about that, about ending a situation. I get that very strongly. I'll leave this here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out this video, for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know if this resonated with you. I love reading your comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video.